Okay, so today I'm going to do some cemeteries. I'm at uh, Hillside Memorial Gardens in Culver City. This is the very first um, uh, grave or whatever. This is a uh, waterfall that's at the very top. Uh, Al Jolson is buried up there. And then from there we'll go find Jack Benny, I think. This has got to be the grandest grave I've ever seen, Al Jolson's. He died in 1950. On the back side here's that waterfall that we were just at the bottom of. Of course Al Jolson's known for singing Mammy, the first a major actor in a sound picture. Michael Landon. Died in 1991. I'm pretty sure these rooms are a lot. Yeah. But that's, this is his grave. Looks like he's got one of his awards over there. Can of Coors Light. Things the family left here apparently. Just amazing how nice this cemetery is. Well, here's a comedy icon, Jack Benny. Died in 1974. Well, not too far from Michael Landon's mausoleum is Lauren Green's grave. Died in 1987. The great voice of Canada, Fonnie Steele. He's buried here in the ground. And actually, just right around the corner there was Michael Landon, so he's not that far away. Yes. A couple steps away from Lauren Green against the Muslims who's Dinosaur. Died in 1994. This next grave is supposed to be really easy to find once you find this mural of Rabbi blessing a new couple when they married. And they also mentioned something about his hands of a Vulcan sign, which I guess is a, um, a Jewish hand gesture, which is funny because. Um, they don't even know it's Jewish. Up oh, there he is, Milton Burel. Died in 2002. And it was one of the easiest ones to find. By the way, that was the, the grand mausoleum we were just in. Jack Benny and Michael Landon are buried. So I think this will be the last grave I look for here at Hillside. But this is Mo Howard, one of the three students. Seems to be a lot of comedians buried here. I had one more I was going to try to find, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it. It's the uh, guy who started Casablanca Records and discovered Kiss, named Neil Bogart. So I did find uh, Neil Bogart's grave. It's, it was back in the Great Mausoleum, which there's the Al Jolson thing that we, were, we saw earlier. But it's in the basement, and that's why I couldn't find it on the map. Neil Bogart found at Casablanca Records, discovered Kiss, one of the first bands, I think the first band that he ever... Um, signed to the label, died of cancer in 1982. They actually were making a movie about his life, uh, starring Justin Timberlake, I understand. I think his sons had something to do with producing that. But he's buried down here in the uh, Court of Patriots. And so if anyone ever wants to find his grave, that's how you find it. It was simple once the guy told me how to find 
the basement down here. So we're at the Holy Cross Cemetery now in Culver City. Kind of unusual little sanctuary area. Not sure what kind of rock that is, but it's very intriguing. Trees grow out of it. So not too far from these stairs, it's about four or five grave rows, is uh, Bella Lugosi's grave. Which is kind of ironic because he's known as Dracula, the undead, and here's where he lays. Died in 1956. If I remember right, he died not too long after he didn't even get to finish the film, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Here's another one I just stumbled on, same row as Bella Lugosi, just a, I don't know, five or six or seven graves down uh, is Bean Crosby. Very mo modest grave compared to some of the grandiose ones I've seen here earlier today. Just three rows down from Bella Lugosi is Jack Haley Jr. Who's known for uh, being the Tin Man in the of Oz? All right, right next to the where we were at is an, an interesting grave with Sharon Tate, who and her unborn child look like some other members of the family. Sister uh, buried here. Charles Manson killed her with the Manson group. This is where she lays. As I was walking out, I noticed the grave over here, just spotted it, Rita Hayworth, died in 1987. Okay, I'm going to head over to the mausoleum, but before I went, I just noticed the uh, picturesque view of Los Angeles from the top of this hill. So, unfortunately, there's a funeral going on here, and you got to walk through a main Catholic chapel to get to the mausoleum graves, but um, the Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz, John Candy, Frederick Murray, they're all buried in here. But I'll have to save it for another time. A neat cemetery, I've been told. This is Westwood Village. It's where Marilyn Monroe is, and Dean Martin, several more people. But anyway, it's kind of hard to find. <laughs> it was built, uh, the city was never here, it was built. And the city just kind of built around it, downtown LA. They call it Westwood, but this is still LA. But anyway, it's a cemetery right in the middle of the city. So I, I found this grave. I know where Marilyn was because I've seen so many videos. She's over there. And there were people over there early look, looking at that grave. But uh, I've just been taking a walk up here without looking at any literature uh, to see if I could find any. And this is Dorothy Stratton. She was a Playboy playmate. Um, she didn't become super famous, but her husband killed her and himself. In 1980, it was a. So, this is definitely the most um, probably photographed grave on YouTube. Lots of different videos. I've even seen a video where they were. If you notice, there's a different color of uh, stone because people keep putting their lipstick on it. You can see the lipstick. I think they try to clean it. But I saw one even where they, where they were working and repairing it, they had that plate removed. I was just reading on the internet just now. I think most people know that Hugh Hefner. Uh, bought this, this is right next to Maryland. But there's a story about this guy right here, this is Richard Pouncer. Um, he uh, bought the, the crib above Maryland, was buried upside down, so they're face to face. His wife, just in 2009, auctioned off because she needed money. This bought, album for four and a half million dollars on eBay. Right over in this little small section, I just discovered Don Knotts' grave. I knew he was buried here. In fact, I'd seen pictures, but I'd not ever seen a tombstone like this. This has to be brand new. I, I would say that it's within six months old, if it's not, if it's not even newer. It's all shiny. Uh, he did have this very simple gravestone with his name and date on it. This is Bob Crane's grave. He actually was buried at a different cemetery, and then when his wife died, uh, he was disinterred and brought here. His wife actually was on Hogan's Heroes with him. She was the blonde German uh, girl on the show. Uh, this is an interesting grave. It's Heather Rourke. She died 
Young, she died in 1988. She was the poltergeist girl, little blonde. She had some kind of disease and she died. This is probably the second most popular grave here. It's Dean Martin. Died in 1995. Buried in a tuxedo. It says, everybody loves somebody sometime on it. If I had you in my shower. So here's Rodney Dangerfield's grave. It says, there goes the neighborhood. Not too far away. This is Fair Fawcett. Merv Griffin. And on his grave it says, I will not be right back after these messages. Fair died. I just don't even have, it's fairly recent. It doesn't even have a marker or a date on her marker. Somewhere here is, I think it's down here, Water Mathow. And Jack and them are buried fairly close to each other. Billy Wilder's buried somewhere near them. Uh, he wrote and directed some of their movies. There's Walter Mathel. Here's Billy Wilder. It says, I'm a writer, but then nobody's perfect. Uh, Carol Connor's buried right next to him. It's Archie Bunker. And Jack Lemon right next. And his says simply, N. So the poor grass girl was over here in one of those right there and the other actresses of poor guys is was straight across. I'll make done. 1982. She was murdered by her boyfriend. Well the nice thing about the cemetery is that it's not very large and it's packed full of celebrities. I think I pretty much found everyone that I was looking for in a way. This is Nally Wood here, who's making the news recently about possibly murdered by her husband. Anyway, they're two interesting graves because they're unmarked. And they're over here. One is Roy Orbison, and he's been dead for some time. And his family and his wife said that, uh, I guess they, they told the cemetery that they planned to, to build a really big statue or a big marker. And it never happened. His wife just died, I don't know, probably two, three months ago. Anyway, I know from reading literature between these two graves, and in fact, she's buried here now too, which I was kind of amazed at the ground. Of course, they don't have winter here like we do, but the ground, and they just probably put the sod in. But she was just buried here with him. But no, no tombstone for Roy. It's between this Frank Wright Tuttle and Grandma Martha. Um, if you ever come here, there's a tree there, and there's the entrance. And then, just right, the same row is Frank Zappa, who's also buried here and doesn't have a marker. And I'm not sure if that was his wish or what, but he died of prostate cancer. Oh, it's been a while. And he is buried. Let me find it here a second. Uh, I found it earlier because there's a purple rock with a face on it someone laid in the spot here it is right here that's the only marker for Frank Zappa but he's between Lee Ayers and Christopher Denny something and that's where Frank Zappa is buried and he probably most likely is here anyway uh, if you will have some time to kill and you're looking for graves this is a really great cemetery because you can find them pretty easily